So what we're doing here is we're testing the long head of the biceps, but in this test we're actually testing it as a passive restraint because it is resisting superior glide, superior motion. So what we're going to do is stabilize the coracoid, take her into extension, and we're going to do a force through the line of the humerus uh, up in a little anterior. So I'm going to take her into extension, stabilize, and it's the opposite of distraction basically. So you're pressing through the elbow and you're gliding up. Do you feel anything? Mm -mm. Okay. No pain. Okay, same thing. You're looking for pain, laxity. The other way we test the long head of the biceps and the transverse ligament is now she's in supine. <clears throat> and we're going to take her into shoulder flexion. And we're going to palpate the transverse ligament. So remember the transverse humeral ligament is at the top of the intertubercular ridge. So I'm going to palpate the transverse ligament. When you contract the biceps, the biceps long head tendon presses into the transverse ligament. It bows into it. So I'm going to have her resist shoulder flexion. Okay, hold there. I'm feeling for, we're again looking for pain, and I'm feeling for the tendon. Okay, did you have any pain with that? Mm -mm. Okay. If she had pain, at this point, it could be either of those two structures. It could be long head of the biceps, or it could be transverse ligament. So dif to differentiate, um, come off the table just a little bit. <clears throat> now, if I take her into extension and repeat the test, doing the same exact thing. Okay, come down into extension. Just resist me. Don't overpower me. Okay, do you feel anything? Mm -mm. Okay, so here I'm contracting again, but this time it's not bowing into the transverse ligament. So if you have pain here, retest an extension. If it's negative, then it's the bi uh, it, if it's negative, it's the transverse ligament. If it's still positive, it's biceps.